I'm here. Okay, Godfrey, let's let's hit these niggas with some Steve Harvey, Tracy Morgan, and Paul Mooney. Yeah, okay. you know what? Hold up, here's a setup. Here's a setup. <laughs> the the Met the Met Gala was today. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Met Gala. What's the Met Gala? Oh, it's um, a thing you know, we're not invited. It's a thing we're never invited to. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> where all the all the celebrities converge and wear crazy fashion. It's in it's in oh. New York. It's in New York. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so so Paul Mooney, Steve Harvey, and Tracy Morgan looking at all the uh, all the people dressed crazy at the at the Met Gala. I'm gonna tell you right now, I done been to a lot of galas. <laughs> all them boys need to wear a suit like Steve Harvey. They're walking around like little bitches. And I'm telling y'all, I've been a lot of galas, Met Gala, all kind of galas. Okay, but that right there, yeah, ain't no real man. I'm old school. You got to dress like a real man. Yeah. Nigga, 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 who is your goddamn tailor, nigga? All of your suits fit you like airplane hangers, nigga. They're all too big, nigga. Who is your goddamn tailor? And nigga, stop wearing all those loud ass colors, all that goddamn orange. So much goddamn orange. Nigga, you look like goddamn Cuban. The video yeah, game yeah. from the eighties, nigga. Yeah, for yeah. real. Listen, Steve. I'm, I'm, listen, I could I could appreciate what you bring to the to the fashion game, but you yeah, got, you got too many buttons. You what are you talking about, buttons, Papa? I know you ain't talking. Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now. Now, Tracy Morgan, you ain't got a you got a lot of nerve to be talking dressed like a goddamn clown. You walk around with your with your fucked up chains and all that. You look like a goddamn clown. You like a gorilla, boy. I don't, I don't yeah. think I you look like take a your fucking ass. You can't even read a goddamn cue card, boy. Yeah, yeah. I was Woo, you I can't was fuck with Steve Harvey. I was on SNL for seven years, Papa. Listen, but I you was, was SNL, know. but nobody nigga, 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 you didn't count. If you weren't Eddie Murphy, nigga, you didn't count. Let's be real. All the niggas on SNL. Chris yeah, Rock, yeah, yeah. all of them niggas. You, all of them niggas. All of you niggas didn't count. You didn't yeah, even count. You niggas were replacements. Straight They had you niggas for fill-ins. I was Tell him, Paul. Paul, Paul said it right there. Paul know exactly I, what I wrote, Sam I, tell you right I, I wrote for Richard. Let me tell you, I wrote for Richard. Richard was my friend. Richard was on there. I wrote that nigga skit Richard was your with friend. him. You always telling people Richard was your friend. We get it. Well, nigga, I, you need to learn how Richard and I go back. We go way back. I That's fucked right. Richard. I fucked Richard in his ass, nigga. <laughs> Yo, pause on that. How about, how that ain't how about, that, that right there. I'm going to tell you something right I'm going to tell you something, Paul. That was not the number one answer right there. <laughs> that got that you a buzz right there. I, I, pause on that. I'm old school. I'm not, I'm not about that. You can do whatever you want. You fucking in the ass. I don't know why. Or where you coming from, but yeah, that's not you the Hold on, I got to see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to say this real quick. This is what, what, when we do impressions, what makes Godfrey and you so fucking crazy. The detail, the way he says, wow. That what? wow. That wow. That shit is critical. And when you go, like, like Jay Moore wouldn't do the, yeah. Whatever that is you're doing, it makes you go, like, I always say, I love Tracy. But he, he feels to me like a like a, a, a drag queen. That nigga's got a lot of girl. <laughs> drag queen. Girl. It's, it's a lot of drag queen in that nigga's delivery. <laughs> but you know what now I'm hearing what you said, the drag queen thing is stuck in my head now, son. Yeah. Now I'm doing I'm doing the fucking then people say, you want, what about Cat Williams? I say, I do Cat Williams when he's being interviewed. I do mellow Cat Williams. See, I, I do more, I'm, I'm more high, high energy Cat. No, mine is like this. Well, you have to understand that the business is what it is. A lot of people don't get it. I am a person that doesn't like his privacy interrupted. I have babies to feed. I have a lot of other things on my mind. A lot of times people say, well, Cat Williams is crazy, but am I crazy when I'm filling up stadiums? <laughs> Let's be realistic, everyone. It's the revenue that people care about, not your mental state. And pro probably my mental state <laughs> is always been perfect. It's always been right on point. I'm looking forward to 
going on tour. The jokes are written and the contracts are signed. So whatever you all are saying, a lot of people that are saying are still trying to fill up a comedy club that has 100 seats and I'm doing 10,000 I'm, I'm seats. A, I'm gonna have to, so I'm you gonna must have to... think that... Yeah, yeah, bitch. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to throw my... I'm gonna have to throw my Tony Soprano in there. Okay, okay. I love the one doing each other. It's fucking great. It's amazing. <laughs> I was telling my uncle to do that. Uncle Junior the other day. It's fucking amazing. I was sitting with my kids, Meadow and AJ. I see two fucking niggas go at it like this. It's just fucking great. It's like a war that goes on between me and Uncle Junior and Johnny Shack. It's fucking you amazing. It. You ground it when you when you ground when you ground it. You find you find the fun of it because because then it. But yeah, we just we lost. Where the Aries. fuck did Aries go? We lost Aries. Aries almost left on purpose. It was weird. <laughs> it looked like Aries like this. Yo, God. Yo, Dean. I'm out. See, <laughs> you niggas. You niggas got me up late. You niggas don't even understand. Yo, Let me see. we like the boxers. We uh, like these niggas. Don't know. We've been knocking niggas out for a long time. Yeah, I think he's coming back in. I'm bringing him I'm back. I'm doing my Aries. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. So, so I forgot what the damn setup was. It was Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. Oh, Shaq interviewing uh, Christopher Walken and Denzel. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, you know, both of y'all make good movies. I love y'all. I love y'all movies. You know, I, I love Christopher. I love your movies. But I love Denzel. I love John Q. I love... Train a day. I like all your movies. You know, sometimes when I look at your movies, I'll be seeing double, and y'all know why. But Christopher, I love you. I just can't believe you're still alive. Well, Shaq, it's funny, Shaq, but I can't believe you're alive. I mean, you're a very big guy. You, 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 you've gained weight, and I'm surprised someone seven foot is still living. Very impressive. Very impressive. Uh, your your eyes have been crossed for a long time. That's why you never could. Uh, make a free throw. Well, you know what? In, if 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 I if I if I am being honest, if I if, if the way the way I see it, um, you know, Shaq is uh, he's a Hall of Famer. Huh? He's a Hall of Famer, and uh, and I I I just earlier today I was watching the uh, I I was watching the O2 finals, and uh, and you know what? You hit. You hit that last free throw in the last couple of seconds. You missed. You missed the second one. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on, hold on, I want. I want to. I want to bring my man in. I want to bring Dennis Robin in. Okay. So Dennis, want to talk to you before real quick. Okay. You know, I, I gotta say, I, I was surprised that I even won something for Chicago. You know, the fact that I even played for the Bulls and got Defensive Player of the Year. Okay. I, I mean, I, you're gonna give me a damn lollipop. I don't give a damn. I don't care. I've seen all of your movies. We watched them on a the plane. Yeah. We watched them in a the locker room. All of you guys are good. I fucking love all of you. You're crazy. You know what? Though you, you, uh, you, you, I, from what I recall, you slept, you slept with Madonna. Huh? I, I love Madonna. <laughs> I, I, I love Madonna. Madonna would always call me a nigga. She would always say, Dennis, you're a big nigga. Yeah. And I would love it. I love when the white girls call me a nigga. It just, I'm ugly to black women, but white women think I'm an that's, exotic That's culture. really, they love I love, I love black guys. And you guys are fantastic. The way you talk about your dicks and white men, we hate it. We're yeah. really jealous, very, very, very jealous about black men's cocks. I, as a white man, am always thinking about a black man's cock. I swear to God. Well, you, you have to, you have to, you have to think to yourself, why? Why is that? Why are you always thinking about a black man's penis? I don't know. It's something, if I had a thought bubble, there would be definitely a, a dancing dick in my thought bubble with gloves on. I don't know what it is. We're jealous of you. Thank yeah. God we tricked you into slavery. Thank yeah. God. Because yeah, I, you guys would definitely be taking over with your cocks, with your big black cocks. Seriously, it's impressive. You know what, though? You, 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 you keep saying it like, like you're interested. I mean, why, why you keep bringing up big black cocks? Why are you still? I mean, you, you said it like five times. You said it five times in 10 seconds. <laughs> that is crazy, nigga. 